Hello, welcome to the channel. It's me, Chris Brooks. I hope everyone's keeping well. So apparently the conspiracy theory of geoengineering has just been given the green light by the government. Wait, what? <laughs> You ever get that feeling, that gut feeling that we've stepped over a line that we shouldn't be stepping over? Well, that's how I feel when I hear about governments, ours included, to spend tens of millions of pounds to dim the sun. To dim the sun in England. Sun in England. That's a new one. But yeah, dimming the sun, the actual sun. They call it solar radiation management. A sleek clinical name that hides the sheer arrogance of the act. Stratospheric aerosol injection. Marine cloud brightening. All fancy terms that boil down to this. Spraying the skies with chemicals in a desperate bid to cool a planet we've already supposedly burnt. And sure, they'll talk about sulphate aerosols, sulphur dioxide, aluminium particles, even calcium carbonate. They'll say it's just research. But they're not harmless substances. Sulfur dioxide, that's the stuff that causes acid rain. Aluminium in the air. There are studies that link chronic neurodivergent diseases with aluminium. Things like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. And what happens when it all comes drifting back down? Because what goes up has to come back down to the soil, to the rivers and to the lungs of every living thing. But they won't talk about the long-term effects on the ecosystem, on migratory patterns, on crops that grow in soil laced in toxins. You think the bees are struggling now? Imagine what it will be like when they're trying to survive in a man-made haze. But my point is, this isn't about what can be proven, this is about what shouldn't be done. We're not gods, we were never meant to be. There is a natural order to the way things are on this earth, one that we barely understand. And instead of respecting it, we've taken it apart piece by piece. We have polluted the air, we have polluted the water, and we have polluted the forests. But then we've blamed it on climate change. And now these crazies think that they can correct the problem by rewriting the rules. And the costs? £50 million pounds and counting. £50 million when entire communities can't access clean water. £50 million while children live in mould-infested homes. 50 million when farmers have lost everything through floods. We're funding experiments in the sky whilst the ground beneath us crumbles. This isn't science, this is ego with a budget. Hello Mr Gates. This is humanity playing God with a planet it refuses to love properly. And I fear we will all pay the price, not just in monetary terms, but in crops that won't grow in skies that won't clear, in lives shortened by the very solution that is designed to save us. We were never meant to control the sun. We were always supposed to live in balance beneath it. Bill Gates and the like are nothing but a danger to our society and they are a real risk to everything that we as a collective hold dear. This has to stop. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day. Look after yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.